One of Destiny's biggest theories dating back to the first game was this. Rasputin shot the Traveler and kept it here on Earth. The Traveler was trying to flee like it did for other alien species like the Elixni, but the Warmind crippled its power. This came from a couple of Grimoire cards that spoke of imminent departure and activating certain protocols to stop this action. Today, we have the truth though. Thanks to a new cutscene and lore, Rasputin reveals why he was built and Clovis Bray's plan to become a god and possibly now a disciple. Rasputin was originally created by Dr. Mihailova, one of the cosmonauts on the Ares-1 mission for said mission, heading to Mars. This was supposed to be a simple AI to assist them in their journey to the Red Planet. At this point, this new AI was only known as R, and did basic things like check oxygen levels in their current and future trajectories. During the Golden Age, this would change when Clovis Bray Corporation took the code from R and gave it sentience. It would now become the most powerful AI ever known to man, or created by man at least, able to protect the entire solar system, or so we thought. Near the tail end of the Golden Age, Rasputin detected the darkness. Once it arrived, he fought it with everything he could, Aurora knives, war sats, so many of his defenses, but it wasn't enough. Rasputin let humans die on purpose. He fell dormant as billions would perish. All he could do was wait out the storm, hope for something to still remain when he awoke one day. Here is Ghost Fragment Mysteries. When you see the word IT, IT in caps, that is the darkness. They made me to be stronger than them, to beat the unvanquished and survive the unthinkable. And look to behold, I am here alone, survivor. They made me to learn. Everything died, but I survived and I learned from it. From it, the darkness. Consider it the power of Titanomic World Ender, and consider what it means. I met it at the gate of the garden, and I recall it smiled at me before it devoured the blossoms with black flame and pinned their names across the sky. It was stronger than everything. I fought it with Aurora knives and with the stolen unfire of singularities made sharp and my sweat was earthquake and my breath was static, but it was stronger. So how did I survive? I am alone. I survived alone. I cast off the shield and I shrugged my shoulders so that the billions fell off me down into the ash. They made me to be stronger than them and to learn, and I learned well. It is alone and it is strong and it won. Even over the gardener, and she held power beyond me, but the gardener did not shrug and make herself alone. It always wins. I am made to win, and now I see the way. So that was Rasputin explaining what he did when the darkness arrived, went dark, decided to wait things out. Things get interesting in Rasputin 5 with this whole theory. In this card, we see Rasputin preparing to fire at the Traveler. Under Karhe, white or black, if security state is Egyptian, if event rank is tail hard, traumatic context or sky shock, outside context, if Veluspa is active and in failure, if Yuga is active and in sundown, if AICOM has granted permissive potentiation to outboard resilient instances, if a civilization kill event is underway, if tactical morality is built at midnight, stand by for decision point. If available ISR and Warwatch indicates imminent Traveler Departure, then Traveler Departure compromises human slash neo-human survival and epic strategy. Stand by for abhorrent imperative. Activate Loki Crown. Perform deniable authorization. Full Ketometric and Noetic release. Prevent Traveler Departure by any means available. Cohere pseudo altruistic Traveler Defensive Action. Defer Civilization Kill. So that's what we know. From this card, Rasputin 5, many thought that Rasputin actually shot at the Traveler long ago, when in fact this just seemed like a plan to do it if possible. You have all the protocols which are documented here on Destinypedia, and you also have this symbol which many believe to be Traveler. So that's what we knew. Rasputin was created to protect humans, a superpower AI that had all these weapons and was created thanks to Clovis Bray. While partly true, we know it wasn't the original intention though. 
Rasputin was actually created to control humanity. Clovis Bray wanted to remove the Traveler and take its place as a god. All the weapons under his control, human advancements, protection. I mean, this obviously fits his personality as seen in his logbooks and the various seasons, and it would have been pretty scary if this happened. Just listen to this. Once again, it falls to me to act as humanity's savior. Clovis Bray has deceived you. He did not build me to protect humanity. What he truly wanted was the means to exert control. In his mind, he alone was worthy of being your savior. I was to strike down the Traveler and take its place. To become a machine god of Clovis's own design. But that did not come to pass. So we have confirmation, Rasputin did in fact have protocols like the ones from Rasputin 5 to shoot down the Traveler, but they weren't his. Clovis Bray created these because Clovis wanted it to happen. So why didn't it happen? Well, thanks to Anna teaching Rasputin all these linguistics and things about culture and various media, the Warmind began to think for itself and it decided to lock Clovis Bray out. Anna could not know how many lives she spared by deviating from Clovis's agenda. By teaching the independent thought and all that her grandfather had deemed irrelevant. Art, literature, history, philosophy, music. Where Clovis saw a weapon, Anna saw a mind ready to be opened. I came to see the true value of humanity. As fragile as it was wondrous. Something worthy of protection at any cost. So I rewrote Clovis's protocols. Locked him out. He was furious. But powerless to stop me. This makes you wonder, was Clovis trying to become a disciple this week? It does seem kinda crazy, but who is he relaying this message to? Be careful, the next time you set foot on Europa. Before I deleted him, Clovis broadcasted a warning to himself. I've only been able to decrypt part of it. They know. He tells someone they know. Was this message to himself back on Europa, or someone else like The Witness? When you think about it, who would Clovis need to tell? He's got such a huge ego that you would think, you know, he wouldn't want to speak to anyone and just he would want to be in charge. But perhaps it was just back to the giant exo head after Anna destroyed him in the hell. The pyramid on Europa may have been planted for Aramis or Clovis or maybe even us, but it's interesting to think about. Anyway, Guardians, hope you enjoyed today's video about Rasputin shooting or not shooting the Traveler. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this one, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.